In a couple of days, EA is about to release its latest addition to the long-running NHL franchise, NHL 14. I just downloaded the demo to the game to get a clue on what's been improved with the mechanics from last year's NHL 13. Graphically, not much has changed. In fact, nothing has changed. This game looks exactly like NHL 13, which was considered by many the best-looking NHL game thus far, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. However, with the demo, I am noticing more frame rate issues, which I'm hoping will be polished up in the final release of the game. Cutscenes and even the fights are a bit jumpy, but that might be just the demo. Last year's NHL 13, while a good game in its own right, was considered EA's worst outing with the franchise in a while. The series had been getting increasingly better since 08, but took a bit of a bump in the road with 13. NHL 13 tried to be innovative by making the game the most realistic hockey game ever made. In fact, many fans of the series said EA sacrificed fun for realism with NHL 13, which was accurate in many counts. For one, the realistic skating slowed down the gameplay immensely. Skaters took longer to turn, and the analog controls felt more sensitive than ever. Overskating the puck was now more frequent, and the AI also seemed to be skating faster than the player on a lot of occasions. The hit detection also took a dive in 13. Because of the slow skating, it was way tougher to hit your opponent, and there are clearly moments when you look close enough to hit somebody but can't manage to do it. Also, the hits were incredibly soft in 13. It almost felt like NHL 08 with its lame body check system. This made NHL 13 a far more frustrating experience and took away a lot of the fun that previous games had. Another problem with NHL 13 was the poke checking. This wouldn't normally be a problem, but the detection was awful with opponents being light years away and still being able to take the puck away or poke it away. With the demo for NHL 14, it's clear that EA wanted to improve the mechanics greatly. The skating is faster, but still looks good. In fact, the speed and the look of the skating is probably the most realistic I've ever seen from a hockey video game. The hit detection has also been greatly improved. EA did a great job fixing it, and the hit animation is amazing. The AI has also been improved, which has been requested by fans for years. One of the problems with the previous year's AI is that they were passing machines. When they are in the zone, they pass like crazy, and it began to drive players nuts. The AI in this game is very realistic, making realistic maneuvers and decisions. However, there are still moments when they can be incredibly stupid. For instance, a lot of them skate right into body checks. Another great improvement over NHL 13 that I haven't mentioned yet is the shooting. Anyone who played NHL 13 knows what I'm talking about. Taking a million shots on net and having more than half of them completely miss the net and 99% of them having no reason for missing the net. EA seems to have brought back the old shooting system for NHL 14, which was perfect. Hey, don't fix it if it ain't broken. The last thing I'll bring up is the NHL 1994 Anniversary mode that comes with NHL 14. They do have a small demo of it on the NHL 14 demo, and I can honestly say that I'm completely disappointed. I like the fact that they brought back all the old music and those wonderful stars at the bottom of each player, and let's not forget the classic control scheme. However, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't make the graphics more like NHL 1994. I think that would have made a little more sense for an anniversary special of that game. Well, that's the demo for NHL 14, and it's looking like it's going to be a very promising game. Well, everyone, that's it for now. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time.